So let's read this question together to pick up the important information. A body of mass 5 kilograms, okay, so that's a piece of data, 5 kilograms, is dropped from rest, ah, rest, so that means that we know that the initial velocity is equal to zero, therefore the kinetic energy initially will be zero, and falls through a height of 20 meters, so 20 meters is a piece of data. It hits the ground with a velocity of 5 meters per second, it's another piece of data, and we're asked to calculate the air resistance force. So we're asked to calculate a force. Okay, now to solve this question, we need to consider what energy changes, what energy transfers are taking place, and what work is being done. So to consider the energy changes, we need to look at the total mechanical energy that it had in the beginning, or initial, and the total mechanical energy that it has uh, in the end. Now, the total mechanical energies involved here are just mechanical um, energies involving kinetic and gravitational potential. And so the total mechanical energy initially will be equal to its kinetic energy in the beginning plus the gravitational potential energy that it has in its initial position. And likewise, uh, the total mechanical energy will be equal to a half mv squared plus mg delta h um, for the final position. There are no spring energies involved here, and so there are no elastic potential energies. We will ignore them. Now, the initial mechanical energy, um, the kinetic part, since the velocity is zero, that means that anything we multiply by zero is zero, so the initial kinetic energy is zero. Likewise, the final position gravitational potential energy is zero because we shall consider that height is equal to zero when it hits the ground. So since h is zero, the whole mg delta h will also be zero. Work is done by the air resistance force in acting the size of the air resistance f through the distance, which is the height that it falls, which in this case is 20 meters. So the body has an amount of initial mechanical energy and there is some work done on it. So if we add the work done on the body, then that should result in a final total mechanical energy. Now the initial mechanical energy is just simply um, gravitational potential, so that's mg delta h, because the kinetic energy is zero, plus the amount of work done, which is the force times 20 meters in this case, should equal to the total mechanical energy finally, which is just kinetic. So that's a half times the mass times the speed, or the final speed, squared. Obviously in this case, the work that is done on the body is negative because the air resistance force acts opposite to the motion, therefore extracts energy from the body, and so the magnitude of the work done should really be not a plus, but a minus, and we should have a minus there. Um, an alternative way to think about it is if the force, F, has a negative value. So we can summarize our equation as F times 20, which is the same as 20 times F, and that is negative because it represents the amount of work done. And that is equal to a half mv squared, and I'm going to take mg delta h here and take it to the other side, so it's going to become a minus mg delta h. Now doing the mathematics gives us a force of 47 newtons. So the resistive force is 47 newtons.